I'm sure you probably hear in the news about all the stuff that's going on in Ecuador right now. There's the president has put the whole country into a curfew, uh, meaning that everybody has to be home uh, from 11 p.m. at night to 6 a.m. no 5 a.m. the next morning. And the news that we're getting today is that in Waikil there's multiple gangs that are storming TV stations, making bomb threats, taking police uh, hostage in the prisons. Uh, in case you, just to give you a little background, the, one of the, the main leader of the, the Choney gang, Choney, lost Choney something shithole gang here in Ecuador is, has basically disappeared from his cell. So I guess that means he escaped, <laughs> you know. I, and so the president is basically locking the country down uh, until they find this guy. So the airport is being closed. The malls have all been closed. The mall here, I just got a report just a few minutes ago that the mall here in Monta is closed. They're closing the airport. They're closing the bus terminal. There's threats of shootings and bombings and all kinds of chaos that are going on, you know. And I know what everybody's thinking. It's that there are people that are going to write to me and say, oh, well done. Oh, forget it. I'm not coming there. That's certainly your choice. I don't blame you. I, I would be concerned. I'm getting concerned myself right now. People are wondering why I haven't been posting videos. It's like I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm afraid to say anything. It's like damned if you do and damned if you don't. So I'm going to lay low as long as I can, but I also want to continue to share with you whatever news uh, I get, okay? And I just noticed on my phone here I got another uh, message from... There we go. My phone system has to follow. It my application on my phone uh, looks for my face, and that's how it keeps uh, keeps me tuned in. So she forwarded a message to me from someone. She said, "Good morning. Are you seeing a lot of violence in Monta today?" We're getting car bombs and similar in and around Cuenca overnight into this morning. And the Turi prison is currently controlled by prisoners, I believe. The, the parents' groups for Nico and Davis School is freaking out. So a lot of the stuff, just random stuff that I'm getting from people, this is from The Guardian. And, of course, my ad box complaining, but it says... Uh, this is today from The Guardian, whatever that is. Armed gangs storms Ecuador TV station after state of emergency declared. And that is the trash truck backing up down the street here to pick up trash. But it says, heavily armed gangsters have stormed the studio of a major television station in Ecuador during the live broadcast as criminal groups launched a series of seemingly coordinated attacks across South American country and its prison system was plunged into chaos. Toting pistols, machine guns, and sticks of dynamite, the mass criminals stormed the headquarters of the TC television network in Ecuador's largest city, Waikil, at about 2 p.m. local time. I'll take a break for the garbage truck. I can't even hear myself. Anyway, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Toting pistols, machine guns, sticks, and I already read that. The newspaper El Universal said panic reporters and camera operators flooded messaging groups with pleas for help as the outlaws rampaged through the building. They want to kill the lot of us. Help us. One message wrote, read. The news program El Noticiero was reportedly on the air when its studio was overrun by more than 20 men with their face covered, faces covered and armed with pistols, shotguns, and automatic weapons. 
the channel broadcast live for about the last 15 minutes before the signal was cut off while the transmission was on. The men could be seen on camera while some employees lay down on the floor and someone was heard yelling, don't shoot. Ecuador's National Police Force announced on social media that special forces have been deployed to the crime scene to deal with this emergency. So this is going on and on. I mean, we're, we're getting, this is a very a pretty long article. I'll tell you what, I'll put a link to this in the description below and then you can read it for yourself. Okay? So let me see if I have anything new from, so just, just uh, messages. Hello all, I was at the terminal and they asked us out to close the terminal. That's here in Monta. Somebody says bus terminal in Monta. They answered yes. They're about to close everything earlier because there was a threat about a bomb. I asked they said they I asked they said they said they are heading here and all the business open they need to close. In Whitekill they closed the TV station. Civil unrest in the news they say to go home or stay home on the radio news. Tune to radio stations. They are going. They are giving instructions. Uh, all businesses closed, including the university. Anyone know what's happening at the airport? We have a friend waiting. Chrissy said it was closing. So, so that's what's going on. All right. So there's a lot of civil unrest going on. This guy escaped from this prison, and the president's. Not going to tolerate it, and I tell you, there's no telling what's going to happen here. If you're on your way to Ecuador right now, here's a shocker for you. I advise you to turn around and go back. I don't think it'd be wise to come here right now. I would just wait if you can wait. If you have flights coming in this week, stay, I, just, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't come here, folks. I would just hang on and just wait, all right? Uh, they'll get this taken care of. They'll get it straightened out. I have confidence in the new president and his police force and in hopes that they'll get this uh, litigated. All right. I will keep updating uh, or I'll keep posting updates uh, as often as I can and when I get new news. Okay. See you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.